Five or six years ago, I did a video on making this leaf. And I did this all by hand. Now for someone that makes their living doing this, if I wanted a leaf spray with, let's say, 30 of these leaves, I couldn't afford to do it all by hand. It just takes too much time. So how would I do it? Cut out the copper leaf blanks and fold in half. Laying them out so that I can anneal all of them at the same time. I want to anneal both sides. This is a sheet metal shrinker and stretcher. There are a lot of sheet metal uses for this tool, but for this video, I will be just stretching copper. The jaws grip the copper and pull it in opposite directions, applying a slight amount of pressure, then moving the leaf and repeating. In stretching, the sheet copper is under a lot of stress. Too much pressure and the leaf may crack. Annealing the leaf and repeating. Annealing and stretching till I get the shape that I want. Comparing doing it by hand or using the stretcher, there is one difference in that with the stretcher there are not those deep indentations that add definition to the leaf. But I can get those indentations by annealing the leaf and adding the hammered textured indentations. I can use this rigid hard rubber as a backing or a piece of folded up sweatshirt. Now each of these will give a slightly different effect now, to pry this piece open. I did this piece as a trial run, but it looks pretty good. Now this one, I'm 90% satisfied. It could use a bit more texturing. I particularly like the back of these pieces. The sharp definition, as in the spine of the leaf. This is the leaf that I curved the most. And I made a mistake here. I thought this was copper, but now that I have it cleaned up, I see that it's bronze. Stretching metal is one more way to work with sheet metal, whether it be mild steel, copper, or in this case, one piece of bronze. 